What's going on guys? Welcome to the workshop here at Hidden Homestead. My name is David and today we're going to be doing some chinking on a log barn. Alright guys, so today we're just going to go over how I did the chinking for the log barn that I did a few years ago. If you want to see the entire build, you can check that out right here in this playlist. But today I'm just going to go over and give a little bit of explanation of how I did the chinking because in the video I, I didn't really explain the mix or anything like that. So that's what we're going to go over. Now you can see that I left the metal lath a bit wider than the gap itself. Uh, the reason I did that is because each gap between each log, set of logs, varies greatly. And then on top of that, the gaps themselves might have a few ups and downs. And um, basically by leaving it wider or, or taller, you can trim and cut all the excess and get a perfect fit wherever it needs to go. So you can see I'm just using two inch nails uh, to drive in and secure the metal lath. I'm, I'm going every eight to 12 inches. You just want it uh, to be secured. Now, I don't show the process of cutting the bottom to get it fit, but in this next clip, you'll be able to see what I was talking about. Something else that I need to point out is on the small sections that we really couldn't get metal lath in, we just drove a bunch of nails, and you'll see that in this next clip. And right here's what I'm talking about. Right down between the two logs, you can see we had like four or five nails just just intertwined with each other and that's just going to give the chinking something to bite onto. So as far as the chinking mix itself, it's two part cement, one part lime, and nine parts sand. Now the tedious part's over with. The metal lath is, is definitely the tedious, worst part about all this. Uh, the rest of this definitely takes some time, but it's not as bad as the metal lath itself. Something we found out pretty quick is that when we were pushing the mortar into the metal lath, it was basically just squishing out the backside and falling out. There wasn't anything to hold it into place. So the cheapest and easiest thing we figured out was to take uh, regular bat insulation and push it in between the logs up against the metal lath and that gave us something just to push up against. Once we were done with that section, we would just take the bat out and move it to the next, next area that we were putting the chinking in. Here you can see I'm basically just building out. The most important thing is uh, the angle of it. You obviously want it tucked up um, from the face of the top log about an inch and then angled down to the bottom log. That's obviously going to help repel water as it drips off the top log. Now this is about half to three quarter inch thick which is pretty decent um, with all the nails and the metal lath in there that's going to make a pretty strong chinking. All right, guys, I know that was a really quick rundown of how I did the chinking, but if you're wanting more information or you have a project that uh, similar to this that you're trying to take on, I recommend looking up this book, uh, The Classic Hewn Log House by Charles McRaven. 
everything that I did for restoring the barn, I got pretty much all the information out of this. It is, this book is like super great reviews on Amazon. It's probably one of the most popular books you can get for this situation for this type of construction. So do yourself a favor, look into this book. I will actually leave a uh, link for this book in the description below if you're interested. So other than that, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't like it, I don't know why you're still here, but thank you for tagging along, I guess. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down button, but then go ahead and leave a comment below of why you did not like it. Consider subscribing to the channel, uh, hitting that little bell icon so you know when we put out other videos whenever we do put out those videos. And you can find us on Facebook, Instagram. We're also on Patreon. Take a look at that. We really appreciate that. Um, I think that's it. So, cheers. At the time of recording this video, it is uh, August 2022. This book is like 15 bucks on Amazon. It's 15 bucks. I mean, like pictures. There's so many good pictures and illustrations and some of them are even colored. Um, yeah. Yeah. Invaluable. Super good book. Seriously recommend checking this out. We're going to do be uh, but today um, <laughs> really quick rock.